so now let's talk about classification of birds based on position so classification of birds birds based on their position okay so how can we classify birds based on their position there can be three categories in which we can classify birds based on their position what are those three categories let's can list them one by one okay first one is terminal bird terminal bird the second one is the lateral bird the third one is the adventitious bird okay that was the three classifications which we can make based on position so let us study one by one these classifications the terminal bird as the name suggests is present at the terminal point of the stem or its branches means if there is a tree okay and there are all these branches there may be many branches of this tree and this tree obviously can have leaves although i cannot draw many leaves okay and these will also have some leaves maybe they have not yet completely developed so there are not too many leaves in these branches maybe what can we say and there can be some more leaves over here okay so anything can be there so that was a tree so where are the birds located in this tree okay first of all the terminal bud so let's talk where the terminal bud is located so this branch will not end up so wide it will terminal terminate inside these leaves somewhat like this okay so at this tip of the branch we can say one terminal bud is there we are showing the terminal buds in black arrows okay one terminal bud present at this tip of the branch then at this tip uh, it was in the tip of the stem this in the tip of its branch at this tip of this branch okay so you might have got the general idea that the terminal bud are present at the tips of the stem or its branches so what this is terminal bud do this terminal bud actually increases the growth increases the length of the plant so you can imagine if this bud grows more and produces more leaves and more flowers if it is a floral bud then the uh, height of the plant will increase similarly if these lateral branches grow then this plant will grow bro broader and this plant will again uh, increase its although not height its breadth but it will increase its size so this terminal bud cause the plant to increase its size but now let's talk about the lateral bud okay so what do i mean by the lateral buds lateral buds are present in the lateral parts of the stem so if that is the plant which i have drawn this is the soil okay which is not relevant here if that is the plant then the lateral buds which i am showing in red would be present at this portions at the lateral portions of this stem so here or it can be present over here this lateral buds arise from these portions maybe from here a bud has maybe not it had arised and the only that bud has had made this stem to grow this branch to grow from here 
a bird must have arisen from this area for this branch to have arisen a bird must have arisen from this area for this branch to have arisen so you can get the general idea that these birds are causing these branches so lateral bird can generally cause bran uh, branches and more branching in this uh, in this tree or in any tree and it is not only present in the main stem it can be present in the branches also like if a if this lateral bud become active here and produces a bud then we will get another branch which comes out from this branch okay so it is a sub branch of this branch so these lateral branch uh, lateral bud can cause branching so that was the lateral bud then let's talk about adventitious bud okay and one more thing about lateral bud is it always develops from the nodal areas so always develops these branches always will develop from the nodal areas so i, I talked about the nodal areas in the previous video if, um, if you do not know what are nodes then check out the previous video okay so now let's talk about the adventitious buds right so what do i mean by this adventitious bud adventitious buds are not only present in the nodal areas they can be they can arise from anywhere in the plant so they can arise from the roots they can arise from the shoot uh, means that main branch or any branch main stem or any branch of that main stem or they can arise from the leaf also so as i have told they can arise from three parts three parts of the plant we have divided this adventitious bud into three parts okay and these three parts are only that which i told they can arise from so the first part i told was they can arise from the roots so roots are called radical in botany uh, it refers something to root so whenever you heard the term hear the term radical you can infer from that that it is talking about roots okay so radical radical adventitious bud radical adventitious bud refers to the ad adventitious bud which have developed from the roots so that was radical adventitious bud now let's talk about the next category which is the colin adventitious bud colin refers to the stem so colin adventitious bud always is referring to the adventitious buds which have developed from the stem or its branches and the last one is the foliar adventitious bud foliar adventitious bud which is, uh, refers to the adventitious buds which can develop from the uh, roots also as i have given some examples in the uh, when i was talking about roots that in the bryophyllum plant uh, epiphyllous roots are appear and these epiphyllous roots later develop some buds and these buds can be called adventitious buds or uh, more specifically foliar adventitious buds okay so that was the classification of adventitious buds okay for the classification of adventitious buds so that was about the buds Now, and it was based on position why we are saying it was based on position because let's see this terminal bud we are specifying terminal that means we are specifying the position it is found at the terminal point we are saying lateral that means we are specifying the position at the lateral areas we are uh, 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 saying that adventitious that means uh, we are specifying the position to, uh, to be uh, the other areas uh, except these nodal areas so we can we are specifying the position in every one of this classification categories and when we are talking about these also radical adventitious bud we are specifying their position to be the roots we are specifying the in colin adventitious bud we are specifying the position to be in the stem so like this we are specifying the position for all these categories so we classify them we call them uh, classification of buds based on position now let us talk about classification of buds based on some more criteria okay let's clear this stuff out including this position in this part let me clear it clear it off now let's see the classification of bud based on activity 
Okay, let me keep the colors consistent. First black color, so at and the bracket activity. Okay, based on activity, how can we classify birds? Birds based on activity can be classified into two types, which are one. One is the active birds. Active birds and the other one is the dormant bird dormant dormant bird so what are active birds or dormant birds we refer let me draw the diagram here if there is a stem okay and there the a bird is present but it is not active that means it is not growing at present but it is just there surrounded by immature leaves so it then it we will call if it is not active then we will call it dormant dormant if you refer to that extent you will find out that dormant means not active an active bird is the constantly growing bird which a uh, dormant bird can turn active when required an active bird is uh, in the process of growth it is forming the branch or uh, it is forming it is increasing the length of the plant or anything which the birds do ah, so we can classify them as active birds or else we can classify them as dormant birds if they are not performing any kind of activity so that was simply based on activity how could we classify the bird ok now we can say the classification of birds is over ok so let me clear this stuff out that was the classification of bird and now some information are there which I want to give you which is useful in some examinations so they are that let me write them down so let me take it where is my textbook so it says an information that cabbage is the largest bird largest bird so you may not not be knowing it but cabbage is a bird so if you have ever seen a cabbage you must have seen it you have seen how big it is and the in in reality if we see a bird which develops into a flower only it is so small so we have seen we have compared the birds and we have seen that cabbage is the largest among all the birds and it is so common also it is cabbage we use it daily if not daily we use it sometimes ok and what are the other big birds the names of other big birds the names of other big birds can be uh, some other uh, giant birds let me say birds but not bigger than the cabbage it is the largest bird but somewhat equal to the size of the cabbage are the brussels okay brussels sprout okay brussels sprout s p r o u t or and uh, not or and the lettuce okay, that's capital lettuce head so these are some large birds and it can be given in the questions uh, which is one of the la uh, large large birds so you know now what is a large bird the cabbage is the largest bird some other giant birds are with crucial sprout and let us say so that was for this video in the next video we will talk about more about the stems we will talk about forms of stem and we will also talk about uh, other which can modifications which can come in stem so let's uh, wait for the next video. Okay, thank you.